Right guys, welcome to one more session of uh, Focotier Entertainments on uh, Microsoft Azure Beginner Tutorials. Today I'll be showing how to spin up a, a new virtual machine using a premium storage. Okay, so let's quickly log on to our account. This is my test account. Go to the uh, portal.azure.com and uh, all right, so just click on sign in here. So um, it will uh, bring up the uh, the new portal. So this is the dashboard, okay, and uh, quickly you click on virtual machines and uh, so click on leave about the uh, the existing uh, virtual machines, click on add and um, scroll down here and select Windows Server and it will list all the operating system, you can either select Windows Server 2012 Data Center or Windows 2012 R2 Data Center. Right, I'll go ahead with uh, R2 and it's asking for the uh, resource uh, deployment model. Okay, resource manager is nothing but it, it will use new portal and if it's using a classic, then it will use uh, the old uh, classic portal, okay? So I'll uh, use resource manager, click on create. So we have to specify the name of the uh, the virtual machine. My first VM zero zero um, seven, and the username is um, test underscore admin. And uh, type the password and uh, make sure you are writing all this information somewhere. All right, select the subscription fee subscription and resource group. You can uh, use the uh, create new one or the existing one um, so I want to use the existing one so which is already there and the location is West US click on never so um, click on OK there and uh, so next we need to select the size of the um, machine it's uh, which SKU which is very important because this is where uh, you will select the, the similar configuration uh, as of you know uh, which is there on the on-prem and uh, so depending upon you can select view all and it will list all the existing uh, configurations you know DS1 so see these are all the existing uh, D3 D2 standard yeah, and which is the GS series also here see and uh, FS series depending upon the 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 application the the workload so you can uh, uh, select which are one but currently I'm uh, I'll go ahead with the uh, uh, recommended which is a uh, a1 the basic one okay all right and uh, click on select and uh, it's asking uh, which is a disk type here so this is where you can select the standard or the premium depending upon the um, you know depending upon the uh, the applications of the workload as as uh, um, informed earlier okay if a customer got an SQL application or an exchange or uh, it is some like you know any uh, GP dynamics application running always recommend customer to use a premium uh, storage here okay disk type not the standard because the IOPS for the uh, premium storage is more when compared to uh, you know uh, standard all right see um, like for databases and for any specific applications it is always recommended to go for a premium Currently, I'm going with the standard, and it's already I've selected my existing resource group. So, the virtual network, the subnet, the public IP address, and everything already got selected. Okay, so click on OK here, and it is done. 
validation pass click on ok so it will take a, a minute or maybe more than that to spin up a VM so this is how you will uh, spin up a new VM okay the first thing you have to click on uh, virtual machines here click on add new okay and scroll down and select Windows Server and uh, you can select which are the operating system depending upon what is there on the on-prem all right so this is a very simple steps how to spin up a virtual machine and it's still uh, deploying so it will take some time all right so uh, let's quickly wait for it so uh, you can see it's still uh, showing status as creating so let's we'll click on it it's still uh, creating. All right, let's uh, uh, let's take a look uh, at the, the configuration part. What we have under the settings. Under the settings here, we have uh, uh, diagnose and solve problems, activity logs. Let's see what we have under the activity logs here. So, uh, so it's giving all information about the activity and the resource health it's giving uh, the resource health of the particular vm which we created my first vm 007 it's still loading so there are so many features that they have added you know uh, under the portal so uh, it's easy to manage and it's easy to understand uh, the dependencies and you know various parameters It's taking its own time. I'll go back to the boot uh, diagnostics. All right, so this is this. This is a new uh, virtual machine, so we don't have. And the other thing is, we can uh, see we can reset the password here. Okay, under settings, click on reset password. Type the uh, new password here. Okay, but make sure that the virtual machine must be running before uh, using uh, before resetting the password okay so uh, redeploy you can always uh, redeploy if you have any problems with the uh, rdp connection or something like that connectivity issues you can redeploy so it will redeploy the whole configuration uh, you can create a new support ticket here the problem type and everything okay and uh, so you can clearly mention the problem and contact information the support will get back to you and under the properties what we have you have uh, I mean it's it's still uh, showing as running okay I mean creating it gives the computer name public IP address private IP address operating system and uh, the subscription the location everything and under the disks by default uh, I mean you can create I mean you can create an additional uh, uh, disks here okay or uh, like let's say if I click on attach new I can I mean I'll get two options one is a standard disk one is the premium disk I can also increase the uh, the size of the disk by default it will I mean it's it's giving um, 1023 uh, size but however I can increase uh, that size and if I select the premium storage see uh, we have three uh, options one is 128 512 and 1023 and we can and the maximum IOPS limit is 5000 and we can also configure the uh, the location okay and we can also configure uh, uh, the hot caching read only or read and write anything so we can configure uh, hot caching and the location and the IOPS under the premium storage okay so currently I'm not attaching any disks I'll go back here and also you can also select the existing uh, disks like any VSD file which uh, you people have moved from on-prem to the uh, storage account okay and uh, it's asked for uh, whether we have I mean which storage account you have any VSDs if you have any VSDs it will list under that particular containers okay so so this is I have but already uh, those are the initial disk which created with the VM okay and the type and IOPS limit 
automatically we can select so that is from the disk and the network interfaces we have you can check the existing uh, vnet the virtual network what we have and uh, the public ip address and you know the private ip address what we have everything and the availability set as of now uh, there is no availability set uh, created and the extensions of uh, i don't think uh, we have any extensions enabled here and so this is what this is very important this size let's say the customer or uh, you want to upgrade your existing configuration from you know a standard a1 series to a g series or something for to test any application you can you can uh, directly uh, go to the virtual machine click on settings go to size and you can s highlight any any size you want and you know and like a0 or a G, G series okay I'll just I will not upgrade but I will just show you okay um, D14 let's say I can click on select it will resize the VM and currently because um, I mean it failed but however if we have additional you know course and everything it will resize the VM with a new configuration because this is the test environment it got failed all right so but however you have to ensure that you have enough cores and everything you're upgrading uh, the uh, the VM that's how you will uh, resize the VM it will resize it will reboot the VM once and then you should be able to access the VM and the uh, the next thing is the alert rules you can create an alert um, depending upon the the resource so the resource is the virtual machine and the alert is um, okay um, alert me description leave it and you can select the metrics you know a memory unavailable and a memory committed memory pages or uh, disks reads processor frequency you can create a different alerts using a different various metrics here all right and you can also uh, set the threshold limit here from here so this is how you can do a, a proactive monitoring okay uh, for any critical service in the uh, customer environment and the next thing we have is the diagnostics it will uh, see currently it's on so the basic metrics network metrics you can uncheck if you don't want those uh, diagnostics to be done all right and the uh, click on the diagram it shows uh, it gives how exactly it is connected so your OS disk and your virtual network this is the uh, public IP address so um, this is how the uh, the diagram okay all right and the next thing is the tags currently we don't have any tags here so uh, we can ignore that and the locks you can uh, actually uh, configure any lock click on lock you can make uh, the lock name read only and you can uh, you know you can uh, sub you can lock the resource group you can lock uh, the subscription so that no one can modify anything about that without your permission and you can also specify specific users who can access this particular uh, vm okay so you can do that you can restrict the uh, uh, the access level also and automation script you can uh, add you can deploy automation script depending upon uh, the uh, the variables and parameters and resources what you have all right so uh, this is the uh, we can download this and we can save as a template all right and uh, so you can redeploy it so if i click on download it will download an exported temp file see let's see let's explore what exactly uh, it downloaded see it downloaded the uh, deploy partial script and the uh, the JSON files and everything and I can also save as a template where I can give as a uh, my first uh, VM my first VM click on save okay uh, first VM virtual machine that should be fine I guess so uh, that's how you can create and you can 
it says it says uh, save save template uh, I'm sorry Hello. and we can uh, deploy one more VM using this click on deploy see it uses the existing VM information everything strings and everything all parameters I can redeploy using the same thing okay so this is what you can do so it saves time so that you there is no need for us to create uh, the same you know all the configuration you can redeploy so uh, that is what about the uh, automate automation script so these are all different various uh, uh, features what we have under settings under a, a particular virtual machine all right workload so um, and apart from that we have uh, connect start restart stop delete all right and uh, please make sure that you i mean you uh, shut down the uh, the stop the vm to ensure that it is not it is not built uh, you know uh, and to save money so uh, if you have any queries about uh, the virtual machines workload uh, use the comment section to uh, post your uh, question so that i can answer it thank you so much guys and in the coming later sessions i will be showing uh, about sql databases uh, and app services and uh, the uh, other uh, features okay all right uh, thank you so much and have a nice day